What's up guys, Justin here with TheFusionEssentials.com back with another Autodesk Fusion 360 quick tip for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to use the tool search function in order to find any tool inside of Fusion 360. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I know one of the more frustrating things can be when you're trying to learn a new program, you find a tutorial that finally shows you what you wanna use, and then you realize that it's in an older version and you can't find any of the tools that they're talking about because they're in a different location. So this uh, this function will allow you to find any tool really quickly, even if it's not located in the same menu location as it is for other people. So usually what we do is we find our tools by clicking on either the create option or the modify option or by creating shortcuts up at the top of the page. But there's a great tool built in that does a search for different kinds of tools that you can activate just by tapping the S key. So you can see how as soon as I tap the S key, what this does is this brings up this uh, design shortcuts option, but it also has a search bar. Well, with the search bar, you can type in the name of any tool and this will go look for that tool and it'll bring up a list of different options that you have. So let's say for example, that instead of using the sketch function in here to draw a circle, what we wanted to do is we wanted to just find the tool directly. So if we were to type in the S key and then type in the word circle, you can see how there's an option in here for center diameter circle. And so you can activate that and then just come in here and just create a sketch really easily. So let's say for example that we wanted a circle that goes out to here and then we wanted to offset this. So obviously the offset function is found up in modify. You can find it right here, but you can also do a search for that and type in offset. And you can see how this will bring up a list of all of the different tools with the word offset in them. So in this situation, for example, we could select this and then offset it out by 0.5 or something like that. So, and then we could do the same thing. So just type in S and then type the word circle. And then we could create another circle right here. So let's say this was gonna be 24 millimeters and then you could find the offset tool in here as well. And you could offset this out by 0.5 millimeters. So not only will this find um, sketch functions and we'll go ahead and click finish sketch, it'll also find other functions as well. And notice that right now, when I get outside of sketch mode, I get these different shortcuts in here. So I believe these are tools that I use a lot of the time when I use this function, but you can also add different tools to this. So for example, the first option is the solid extrude. However, the second one is the surface extrude. So let's say I use that a lot. I could click this button to add that to my shortcuts so that this would come up whenever I type or whenever I bring up the search bar. So now if I type S, that extrude tool shows up in here. But we could go find the extrude tool, for example, and then we could go ahead and we could use that in order to extrude all of these up in order to create a groove. So in this search function will allow you to find any tool inside of the program. So if you ever find yourself lost, you can't find something, just tap the S key and then just type in the name of whatever the tool is that you're looking for. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. I know it's kind of a quick tip, but it can be a lifesaver when you can't find something they're looking for inside of this program. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did you know this tool's in here? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Fusion 360 content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.